What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Sports really just wouldn't be sports without the sportscasters, would it? We don't think so at least. It's a super difficult thing to do and we don't really appreciate that, but we also have to realize that everybody makes mistakes. We see plenty of silly ones in the sportscasting industry and even if they are few and far between, they're pretty funny when we see them live. So today, we're going to check out a few different examples of announcer moments that didn't go over so well either with fans or the production team while they were on live TV. Here are some of the funniest announcer moments. Let's dive right in. Oh wait, before we start, gotta do my plug. I'll make it quick, I promise. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. But don't just ring it, make sure you set it to all so that every time we come out with a new video, you'll get that notification in your inbox. You got it? All right, cool. Now we can get right into it. Without further ado, let's go. At number six, John Clayton does his best to talk about Al Davis, but can't quite get it out. We all do a good stutter every once in a while, and other than maybe getting a couple laughs from whoever's around, it's not a big deal. But imagine if you did it while on national television. Clayton says the following and does his very best to get out some very important information about the Raiders, saying, quote unquote, Al Davis is trying to change the culture of the team. If they can just win, baby, it'll work. If it doesn't, it's probably just going to be a he 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 headache, baby. Then we see Clayton with a knowing smile on his face. He realizes what he's done and that he can't do anything about it because it's already been broadcasted to millions of different televisions. Poor guy heard it a lot from other sources too. The video we got from this is titled, John Clayton Stutters Like Porky Pig. Sure, it has some 90,000 views since 2008, but this clip still definitely is circulating. At number five, Tony Reale almost slams into the ground while trying to shoot a piece of paper into a trash can. Well, we pretty much just spelled it out for you. This one doesn't take a whole lot of work to understand. Poor Reale wanted to look cool in this shot, but ended up tipping his chair and falling onto a ledge within the desk that he was sitting behind on set. The funniest parts of this clip aren't even the fall, they're his fellow announcers. They see him fall and begin to laugh at him, going, whoa, whoa, and poking a little fun at their friend. They are, however, cut off by the already programmed voice telling you who around the horn, the show that Reality hosted was made by, sponsored by, and more. It's funny to watch Reality trying to get up and get completely covered by the logo of Around the Horn, and then by the Nissan sponsorship. It's definite that nobody was expecting him to fall, and the whole thing was just kind of silly. Unprofessional look at how sometimes stuff happens, and you just have to deal with it like something isn't happening. We're really sorry, Tony, but this clip got enough views on YouTube that the internet is going to remember it for a while. At number four, Mike Didka makes an adjustment while he's on the air and on camera. Everyone knows how it feels when you're a bit uncomfortable in your pants. You have to be subtle about how you hide it, but you have to find a way to get relief. It's usually easier to do it when you're a sportscaster because nobody can see you, but that didn't really pan out for Didka when he got the camera turned on him at just the wrong time. He was caught adjusting them on national television with his body almost entirely in full view in front of the camera. That's not a good day. We know we wouldn't want to catch any of us in the act of doing something like that. Sure, it's human nature, but come on, man. You gotta be more careful when you know everyone in the country is watching. The video we source this from is getting crazy amounts of views. We put some funny music in the background and is looking at around 400,000 views. That's nothing to scoff at, huh, Mike? At number three, Mike Patrick randomly brings up the famous Britney Spears. Imagine yourself watching a heated overtime game of college football between Georgia and Alabama. You can't believe how close it is, and then you hear the announcer say something that makes your ears perk up a little bit. He says, I've got an important question. Naturally, you think he's got to be talking about the kicker pictured practicing on the screen as he says it, or what the next play will be. But nope, you were dead wrong. Instead, you hear the following, what is Brittany doing with her life? The other commentator says, who? Brittany? Brittany who? Spears? What's she doing with her career? Why do we care at this point? Is she here? I don't think so. Is she a football fan? Oh, I'm sure she is. And then, like it never happened, we get right back into hearing the game commentary and the winning touchdowns made. If that's not weird to you, I would have a hard time finding something that is. But I bet Patrick got a slap on the wrist for saying something so random right before the deciding moment of the game. Well, let's face it, if they put me in front of a microphone for that long, I'd probably be running out of things to say after hours and hours of talking. I'll stick to voiceovers on YouTube channels for the time being. Ad number two, 
Emmett Smith sings along to Young Jeezy. Now, ordinarily, this would make plenty of sense, but once again, heading back into that theme of imagine if it was you, seriously, imagine that. How embarrassing can it get after something like this? You'll also be happy to hear that the song he was playing and dancing to had some pretty foul language in it, but that's also just sort of common to certain genres. Doesn't negate the fact that Smith also said some pretty bad curse words. At the end of the day, I'd be pretty embarrassed too, but who really cares? Except uh, maybe the children watching, parents, whoever else. If I were a parent, I know I wouldn't want my kid hearing those words, but like we always say, stuff happens. Everybody makes mistakes, and we can't really fault Smith for it. And at number one, horse race announcer does his very best to make it to the end of the race. Welcome to the third race at the honeymoon is over now. Yeah, this one's pretty crazy. At the beginning of the race, we begin to hear signs of a hoarse voice, but the announcer is totally able to make out through his words. It just sounds like, well, really high-pitched and weird, but uh, if we know one thing about this guy, it's that he's perseverant. He keeps on talking throughout the race, his voice getting hoarser and hoarser, until eventually, for a split second, he cuts out, leaving the race silent and by itself. He cuts back in directly after saying, I don't think I'll make it and then continues to commentate on the race despite his serious ailment. He ends up being able to crown the winner and talk about who came in second in this horse and carriage race before he's got to take his break. The video that we sourced has about 271,000 views, and that's pretty serious for this guy who was just having a rough day with his voice, not to mention everyone else who saw it live on television. People have to go through stuff like this all the time on TV, and when they make little mistakes, it's forgivable. But this poor guy came in one day with a bad voice knowing that he had to commentate the pre-race and the entire race and did it anyway. Listen, we get that the races are short, but seriously, that's our plan here? He could have done so many different things, called in sick, got a second commentator to be with him, or so much else. But nope, he had to make this one about him. Can we really blame him? Nope. He had a job to do and just didn't want to give up his job. And I guess it was a pretty big race, so I guess we can understand him, but you know, you live and you learn, and he got pretty embarrassed because of it. Oh well, what are you going to do? Well guys, that's going to do it for today's video, but before we end things off, go ahead and leave some comments down in the comment section down below, whether it's, you know, another embarrassing moment of a commentator or your favorite one from this video. Let us know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Also. If we've got any sports broadcasters down in the section below, feel free to leave a comment. Tell us about your most embarrassing moment on air ever. I mean, it can't get much worse than these, right? But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon so that you're notified about future uploads just like this one. Thanks again, and we'll see you all in the next one.